He wanted it to be moody, stylized, and that particular spot was a wonder already. That was all mapped out the way that he wanted it executed. We see the bottle and then we dolly past it and then she moves and she ends up, you know, sitting in the chair. With that framework already there, we just kind of riffed off that and, you know, what location would be best. We scout the location together, you know, we plan where in the room it's going to work, you know, distance from the bottle, how we need to dolly off the table, get to her, takes her by the burrito, and then she walks to the thing. So really simple stuff, but, you know, slightly technical in the way that it's executed to make sure the framing works for, you know, client and agency and seeing the bottle and her food and all that stuff. So. That stuff we obviously mapped out together when we're on location and then on the day. There's always a lot of flags. There's a lot of flags here too. Hi. You know, that was shot day for night. So it's a nighttime scene we shot during the day. So we blacked out the house and we have like a cool moonlight coming in from the side on her. And then we have her, you know, she's got a key light off camera. We've got practicals in the background. And I love talking to the production designer about practicals and where those sources are, because I generally like to motivate from those. And I'm really big on what style those are and what type of, you know, are they, you know, a hard top throwing light down? Is it, you know, a big, soft, diffuse shade? Um, is it coming from the top? Is it, does it have an angle on it ahead that can be moved around and just create like a hot spot? Um, so when I do narrative and commercials, I'm really um, into getting a big like dock from you know props and just looking at every different option. You kind of feel that lighting contrast, the tungsten inside and then the blue coming from outside. And it's sexy, I mean that color contrast looks sexy. I mean she's sexy. The scene's about turning on the fireplace and having a cocktail and you know she's eating the burrito very, you know, sensuously. So that type of lighting works, right? Where you feel that kind of color contrast and soft light, but um, I think we broke it with full grid. So we've got the sky panels 20 by 20 or something outside breaking it and just dialing whatever level, you know, to to camera that, that I liked. The fireplace is is on in that scene. So when she goes and sits next to it, that's those like little hot spots. And actually when you see the bottle being lit for the product shot, I like the bokeh that's behind the bottle and the hot spots because your eye kind of balances out different levels of light, which I think helps make a scene look better. You know, you have the soft light of the bottle really well lit in the foreground, but then you have these hot spots in the background of the fire flickering out of focus that kind of balance the frame really nicely. And then beyond that, you have that nice blue texture of light on the wall. And as our key light, we had a gem ball just at like a three quarter frontal 45 degree, like just a beauty light where it looks the best. Gem ball, muslin, broken with muslin and some bobby net to kind of take down, break up the exposure a bit so it feels, I don't like things that feel too sourcey, so I generally break things with diffusion or bobby net or something, maybe three times. And then I also have LED light, just feeling in her eyes below camera with some Depron on it, very thick diffusion. And that's put on the front of that and that's just dialed in just to kind of fill in a little bit under her eyes. I think I have a four by frame above that gem ball, um, giving her a soft top light, cause she's got like beautiful hair. So there's a, just a bit of a little hair light, little top light above her. So the light kind of carries out like, you know, like here, like a for, for a female, you know, you want to just, it's a nice hair light. I, I do love top lights, but not all women can handle them. So you've got to fill them in here. So um, that light's just, it goes from top to soft with the gem ball and then we carry it in under the eyes a little bit with that little one by one.